Okay, what up ladies and gents? The trial this week is the Charog trial and I'm gonna show you how to clear it. It's actually so easy that you can do it blindfolded, okay? Now, people have asked me, how do you see through blindfold? How do you know when your potions end and whatever? Uh, I can see. This is a for this is not fully blind. I'm not fully blind. I have about 40% of my vision, so. All right, but I'm gonna show you that it's literally so easy, like you just do not even have to give a shit. Of course, this is the easy trial clear build, so I will release this build happily to you guys. Um, it's very, very easy to utilize, and you will you will have no trouble with it. Okay, so what you want to do is you just want to whack the Charog as much as possible, okay? Dodge through its attacks as needed, because what you want to do is you want to slam fast. You want to get it enraged as quickly as possible, and that will help you tremendously in improving your damage as well. Um, try to hurricane where possible and you know where it's not possible just like you know just save up for the big slams now missing a slam is gonna cost you time so that's that's a big thing if you want to do this if you want to do this within a decent amount of time don't miss your slams because every slam you miss is huge is a huge waste of time you can literally ignore the fire it's literally not gonna be a problem for you okay the main thing is do not miss your slams if you miss your slams you can have a very bad time all right and do not miss your iceborne shots because that's gonna literally keep you alive keep you going because you're gonna you're gonna just eat attacks like that all right and if you get knocked down once or twice that's okay but um you're gonna have a relatively rougher time the more the more knockdowns you take just remember that all right uh keep a close eye on your potions you will ideally want to get them down to about half health by about this this rough timing which which should happen um, again as you can see this build will let you ignore most of its attacks and doesn't attack that frequently either so just uh keep keep chipping away at it and um you know just just let just let your iceborne do its thing all right whenever you take a serious hit get that iceborne back on and just go for it again once you run out of potions you want to take them again all right so i'm a bit slow on the potion timing but relatively speaking, for those of you that are serious enough with this build, you should be able to actually dodge some of the attacks that I was just eating. Um, but again, I'm only doing this to showcase to you that it is in fact so superbly easy um, to get this kind of timing with uh, with uh, the Char Trial because he literally does nothing. He doesn't do anything important. He's just he's just a Char. Rock. And had I not missed one of the earlier slams, we'd actually be in a much better situation. Than we are now but that's okay because that's just part and parcel of the whole thing is he dead okay there you go blindfolded two minutes 35 seconds that is how easy this trial is it required zero effort okay and i'm gonna show you the build to do it because it's just that easy um i didn't even need my glasses and I could literally do it blind and still get an S ranking. So how do you do this? How do you do this? Um, and what build should you use? The trial is that easy. It's just, it's just, um, well. I'm on my Discord blind photo of the ice cream. Okay, so how, how do you actually build this build? I'm gonna show you right now. Um, Blizzard's Teeth will be your weapon of choice. I'm sorry that I can't see very well because my glasses are away from me right now because I was doing blindfold runs, so just bear with me if I can't read things uh, as well as I normally would. Blizzard's Teeth, Catalyst Cell, Galvanized Cell, okay? These two are important. Special, Reaper's Dance, Standard. Hurricane Blades will be your mod, okay? Your Bond is gonna be your Frost Wolf Skinners, and in fact, you could achieve a 230 time if I didn't miss that first slam, just so you know. Um, so yeah, it, it's very possible to get a very good timing. Frostwolf Skinners will be a bond because they're just so strong even after the nerf. Iceborne will be your Omnicell. You've got Scarn's Defiance with a Catalyst Cell right here. You have your Volcanic Helm with a Sturdy Cell. You've got your Dark Marrow with a Berserk Cell. You've got your Volcanic Grips with an Energized Cell. And you've got your Volcanic Treads with a Berserk Cell. Um, what this build does overall is, and I'm going to go through the perks right now, it will actually give you the following. Berserker plus 6, um, up to 35% damage as you swing, which is very, very good. Catalyst plus 6 for all your potions and tonics used. Okay, 
Galvanize plus 6 because with this build you can actually maintain some decent shields and your Galvanize will benefit you. And if you can't maintain the decent shields because you're taking a lot of damage, that's also okay. Um, it's just helpful to have for when you do crit. Uh, Rage is good because, you know, you're always taking hits with this build. Sturdy is so that you can ignore the Charg's attacks. Whenever a Behemoth has Behemoth Blitz, usually I'll take Sturdy so that I can just ignore their attacks. Energized is just to help you charge up your faster, which for the Chain Blades is excellent. You can actually, like for other weapons, you may want to swap this to Zeal or something else so you can dish out more damage and have more shielding. Because for the Chain Blades, Energized is key to slamming faster. And Tenacious is just, it just comes with the Volcanic Treads, so that'll help you uh, dish out some extra damage as well. It's not much, but it will help you. Um, there are alternatives. There are alternatives to this one, but the alternative would be... Um, like, you could go with... Uh, where's the freaking Embermains? Oh, no, sorry, not the Embermain. Embermain has a defensive slot. We don't want that. You're, you're literally your only other option is the Torgador's Gate, but it comes with Knockout King. Either that or the Hellplague Greaves with Fortress, but considering the amount of damage you take, I think Tenacious is better. I'd rather take the 9% damage. Alright, so so that's about it. That's how you clear this trial uh, with ease. Alright, so thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you uh, I hope you enjoy clearing it. Now you don't have to do it blindfolded, but I'm just doing it for shits and giggles because it's funny as fuck. Alright. Anyway, here's the thank you scene. Thank you to February's top supporters, Bravo7910, Alien Frost 80, Zabi Uzumaki, Kazmanta my lovely girl, Zach NFG, Shroot, I'm a boxhead, Franz Schubert. Uh, Pinomies, Aaron Elrod, Julian Quarles, Nate the Great, Grun Quarles, Nate the Great, don't mind me, and we'll add a few people here as well um, on the weekend. Also, big big thank yous to our Throne of Honor, uh, Puni Puni OnlyFans, Zach and of G Prestige, Nate the Great Prestige, The Forgotten Prestige, Night Ranger X Prestige, Mashari Al Shahari Prestige, Detorious Venom Prestige, King Prestige, Pinomies Prestige, Logan Schwartz Prestige, and last but not least, the newest edition, Steve Martin Prestige. Thank you guys very much, and I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, and Franz Schubert is also prestige now. See you all in the next one, okay?